Okay, same old, same old, I have to explain. Uh, get the script down in the description and get your key through this link right here. And go to this top link right here to check all the games I already made scripts for. But with that out of the way, just execute it and you'll see this bar right here, as you can see. It'll say connecting to server and just go through the bunch of checks. Um, and then, yeah, you'll just be free to use my script. By the way, this will already tell you what tycoon you should join. So you don't really have to, you know, go to a tycoon if you, um, it's already automated. So right after you do that, just, um, go ahead and so after that, let's just talk about, um, how to use my script. So auto tycoon will pretty much automate the buttons and automatically buy those for you. I think that's pretty much what auto tycoon does. So yeah, just turn that on to buy all the buttons. And also auto tycoon will also automate all the flavors that are in the game and it will know to disable and enable, you know, certain flavors. Um, of gums that you might have. So right after that, just press auto collect, which will automatically open the door if you don't have the game pass or automatically push this button if you reach 80% of your gum limit. Next is auto obbies, which will automatically do all the obbies for you. As you can see, I um, reset, but it teleported me back. But if we go here, we can see that the obby, easy obby is on cooldown and the hard obby is on cooldown as well because it just did it. Uh, so we have about seven, eight minutes of sugar rush and that serve boost. God damn, we're gonna be, we're gonna be going so fast. Right, but right before I show you auto rebirth, um, let's get into the best thing in the script, which is auto conveyor. You see all these um, upgraders right here. It will pretty much automatically tell you what to like uh, buy. So it'll automate your upgraders for you. It'll automatically know which position to put them at because there are two different types of upgraders, which are ads, which give you, which just pluses a value to your gumball and a multiplier to your gumball. And it will automatically know how to do the math properly to optimize the best way to make money. Uh, since there's two different types of upgraders, it will prioritize upgraders that are additions like ads to the front of your conveyor and the multipliers at the end. Because if you don't know, you should multiply at the end and ads at the front. So the multiplier gets higher than your ads, which is just basic math. You know, you get a higher number when you add it first, then multiplying with a low number and then adding, you know, a value to your gumball. So yeah, it'll automatically know the best positions to put your upgraders in whilst also buying it when you can afford a better upgrader. Um, but yeah, it'll do that automatically. And I'll show you that right now with auto rebirth. So if we auto conveyor, uh, we're just gonna turn both of them on now and we're gonna auto rebirth to about I want to rebirth skip to about 10. As you can see, it actually shows you how many times you rebirth. It says Brastic YT is rebirth 160 times. Skip 12 lives. Let's go. And then you get some. Oh, and by the way, this is an automated. I didn't really automate achievements. So, you know, if you want to um, press this or claim this, you have to do it yourself. But it kind of doesn't matter because I think this is only good for um, if it's your first time playing this game. But if you're, um, you know, you've gone through a lot of rebirths already, it's going to be really quick. But as you can see here, it's pretty good and it'll put the addition upgraders in the front and the multipliers at the back, as you can see. It knows what to do. And, and rebirth tokens, you can set how much rebirth token you want, but it kind of doesn't matter ever since the rebirth skip update. Uh, but auto, but you can set your rebirth skips here, you know, when you actually want to rebirth skip. So if you set this to nine rebirth skips, it's going to equal about 10 skip lives. Okay. So yeah, so just plus one if you want to know how many rebirths you're actually going to do. Next is auto features, which will automatically buy features for you, such as these. But um, if you can afford a certain upgrader, it will prioritize your upgrader. Um, and actually, no, it will. If you if you can uh, actually buy one, eventually buy one, as in like if you have enough rebirths, you know, it's gonna wait until you can actually have enough money to buy this. It will prioritize upgraders over these. But if you want to know my advice on which is the best, because your first rebirth will take a while. Um, your first 20 rebirths, honestly, will take a while. So um, if you want to know the fastest way, just buy selectable upgrader and work your way up to buying um, additional gumball values. Because this is very useful in increasing your early start in the game and that will help you a lot. And avoid conveyor speed um, uh, features because they're useless. Um, because it doesn't really matter how fast your conveyor is. What matters is how 
quickly they spawn. And I'm not sure if they spawn more quickly if they get faster, like, uh, sold. But uh, I don't think it really matters. I haven't seen uh, a negligible difference in a change like that. So I don't think it really matters. Anyway, but yeah, that's it. Uh, but keep in mind when you're using auto features, it will not update the UI. So if you want to see the actual change in these numbers, because they will stay the same, uh, you have to rejoin the game. Uh, but if you, you know, if you just leave this on, these, these numbers will not change and you have to rejoin to actually see it. So I, even for these, I believe. So yeah, sorry about that. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna make that work for it, but it'll work well for auto flavors. It'll auto automatically know when to buy, as you can see. All of them are on and these are off, but these guys are still on because there's no other gumball or there's no better gumball to replace them so they stay and it replaces it one by one i don't actually press enable best gums it's uh it's using i'm i pretty much made my own to uh make it work one gum at a time so yeah if you can afford a better gum it's gonna choose that better gum uh, and we're just replace your default gums one by one. I'm really underselling it though because this is like the most comprehensive thing I've ever scripted yet and it's this auto conveyor which will automatically you know know what to buy and, and which will automatically know how to place itself in the right position whilst buying them if they can afford them and in general, you know, it's. I think it's pretty. I, I think it's pretty good because it knows how to optimize itself to make the best amount of money for you. By the way, this doesn't support any game passes, I think, but this does support um, the remove button timer. But this will not support your. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna buy this. Um, if you do buy the game pass, you might have to put that on yourself. And I don't know if your VIP upgrader will automatically be chosen. I don't think it will be prioritized because how I prioritize by upgrading and replacing these is by their actual price. Uh, that's it. So the more expensive a certain upgrader is, the more it's prioritized. I don't actually look at the multiplier. Um, I don't think it really matters in any way. You know, a, a more expensive... Um, Upgrader usually means a higher multiplier and regardless and it will automatically sort between Ads and multipliers did not um, add support for ascend uh, Because I don't have a thousand rebirths. I don't know what goes on after that But I don't think it really matters. Most of you guys are never reach a thousand um, Yet and I won't either I'm kind of not in the mood to grind But honestly if I could I think I could reach a thousand in less than a day if I just left it on it's rebirthing pretty fast as you can see like 10 lives skipped and that wasn't even long as you can see like I think that was like five minutes right um, before I actually did a rebirth but yeah you can like get by pretty fast as soon as you reach probably 220 20 rebirths sorry about that guys but your first rebirth is gonna seem really slow and shit so yeah just know that and by the way auto tycoon will prioritize your upgraders above and everything else so if you can afford um, uh, an upgrader, it's going to choose the upgrader over a gumball, you know, if it has to choose between the two. But you can just watch this live. As you can see, it's just like replacing and buying, you know, better upgraders and stuff. It's pretty, it's pretty cool, you know. Uh, but yeah, you can just watch it go on. Keep in mind, you should probably, uh, you should probably auto farm in a private server though, because, um, I kind of got banned that way. Someone just fucking reported my ass to their Discord server. So you should probably um, not auto farm in front of people because you will be rebirthing pretty pa pa fast and people will pass by you and look, what the fuck? Why are you rebirthing so fast? And see that you're probably cheating. So yeah, everything is, uh, I think this is all the features you really need. The only thing that keeps this from being fully AFKable is setting your rebirth skips because sometimes it'll take a while for you to actually skip lives. Sometimes it's really fast. That's why I added um, a little slider for you to decide yourself. But if you want my opinion, if you want to leave this over at night, just uh, leave it at three or four and you should be fine. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is actually the amount you really need to rebirth to the amount of skips because that's how it calculates it. If you change this number to something bigger, the number gets bigger as well. I don't really know if it's still the right formula, 
but I think it still is. If the math isn't like adding up, then, you know, it kind of doesn't matter. But I thought it was just a nice statistic to just look at, you know, to know when you're about to rebirth and stuff. But yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for using my script.